This is not where I thought I would be five years ago. I had graduated USC and got a great job at BP doing this. <laughs> I'm the one on the right, if you can't tell. <laughs> it was a great job, it paid really well, but it was not my passion. I loved music. I would go to every concert that I could. Music festivals started getting really popular around this time, but also expensive. So for my friends who couldn't afford to go, they did the next best thing, which was watch the live stream on their laptop. I thought this sounded horrible. Concerts are about experiencing the music, dancing with your friends, seeing the light show, not sitting at your desk by yourself. A lot of technology to date has really isolated us. iPods let us listen to music, but we shut out the rest of the world. We sit at our laptops for hours liking things, but never truly connecting with other people. I wanted to be able to live stream concerts to multiple venues around the world and recreate that same great festival experience for people who couldn't go. Now, this was a huge idea, but I started small. I got a job as a light girl at a local nightclub, so my days started looking more like this. <laughs> my parents were worried, to say the least. <laughs> But this was just the next small step. I was now getting paid to experiment with DJ equipment and lighting. My business partner and I started having DJs play in my apartment, and we live-streamed it to the nightclub down the street. High quality, stereo audio, light controls. But this wasn't enough for the DJs. They wanted a more authentic way to really connect with their fans and give them that true concert experience. So we pitched holograms. Again, huge, huge undertaking. <laughs> but we started small. We looked at everything out there on the market, but everything was too expensive, too bulky to even fit in these nightclubs that we were talking about doing. Um, so we started building our own hardware in my business partner's parents' garage. We built a system that only took two people an hour to set up and has a very thin profile, so it can fit in all different types of venues that nothing on the market currently could and we started doing hologram shows. But this is just the beginning. There were so many other verticals that we could apply this to. Movies have been using cardboard cutouts for years. But what if Johnny Depp himself could invite you into Pirates of the Caribbean 17? And amusement parks, <laughs> there we go, OK. <laughs> um, amusement parks have used bulky costumes forever. But what if we could really bring these characters to life and connect with kids on a more real level? And lastly, we've been using Skype and FaceTime to talk to family members who are far away, but what if I could sit at my dinner table and have dinner with my significant other who is 100 miles away? So we started making things smaller. Uh, we built this as one of our smallest displays that is a lot more portable, more affordable, and we started writing software to make this truly interactive. So the first thing we started doing was gesture control. So if I do certain movements, it will trigger hello. different things. So I waved, and he said hello. So again, that's tracking my hand movement. Hello. So he says hello. And we can do all different types of movements. And we can even have different 3D objects that we can control and view and change directions and use it for design or science or even just art. Um, the next thing we wanted to do was be able to take any 3D model and map it to a person so they could control it. So this is an example of our avatar control. So this is a 3D model, and I don't have to wear anything on my body, but it's tracking my motions. So this is what allows us to have an actor be Spider-Man and talk to kids at an amusement park, or letting kids themselves be Spider-Man and big kids, because it's really fun. <laughs> and lastly, we wanted to be able to film people in any environment without a green screen and insert them into the displays to truly immerse them in this experience. Up to this point, you had to film people 
in front of a green screen, do expensive post-editing to do this. So we wrote software based on depth and body tracking to work with our hardware. So as you can see, there's all kinds of things behind me, but it's picking me up and cutting the background out in real time. So now we could truly insert people into these experiences. Now, I started this journey because I wanted to share my love of music with more people. But soon, I'm going to be able to go virtual shopping with my sisters who live in New York while we're still in our respective cities. I'm really excited to see where this technology and other virtual reality goes to help connecting people and creating more authentic experiences. Thank you.